Nehum one nine. Matecha shavun el Adonai kala hu ose. Lo takum pa'amim tsara. Nehum one nine translates with a full translation like this today. What do what do you reckon to the Lord? An end he is making. Distress will not rise up a second time. Nahum 1.9 opens with the interrogative ma and the verbal pl imperfect 2mp of the root chashav. Now this form has the paragogic noon, so notice that, but it shouldn't trip you up on the rest of the parsing here. The verb, the verb chashav has a pretty flexible meaning, and here according to BDB, it is to devise or plan with the L preposition indicating the one against whom you are planning or reckoning. So here we get the notion of antagonism. What do you devise or what do you reckon against the Lord? The next clause begins with the end or, as before, a complete end. The verbal is in this clause is the call participle masculine singular of the root asa, to do or make. Notice that kala is set off by this tifcha accent, so we get a complete end he is making. To capture the durative nature of the participle and the function of the pronoun as the subject. In the second line, this final clause begins with the negated call imperfect 3fs of the root kum, meaning to arise. Distress or trouble is the subject, and so the 3fs verb form here is fitting. Pa'amim is the dual, or sorry, pa'amayim is the dual form of the word time or step or a beat, something like that. The dual can sometimes be used in this context to indicate a second of a thing. So here we get a second time. Distress will not arise a second time.